Ude and welcome to this tutorial class. All right, I will be producing the object as displayed on the screen. Okay, my name is Uluwatumbi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, so the very first thing I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to produce this bottom horizontal line. Okay, I'm going to make it thin. Then after drawing that, I'm going to produce a vertical line to it. And that vertical line must be, must be actually perpendicular to it. Okay, must be perpendicular to it, which is this right here, like this. Okay, so after doing that, what is the next procedure? What is the next procedure? Okay, at the bottom here, we have a width of what? 75. 75, that's what I'm going to do now. 75 divided by 2. That is 37.5, 37.5, okay, that is what, 37.5, so I've marked it out. So, on this point of 37.5, I'm going to what, produce a perpendicular on each of those points, okay. So, right here, I'm producing for this area right here like this, okay. And for this, I'm producing it right here like this, all right. So right here yeah, like that. Okay, after that, I'm having a distance of height of what? Height of 14 on the bottom rectangular box. So I pick my what? Mark of 14 right here. And I'm going to project that horizontally in this manner like this. Okay, that area is already set like that. So next thing, uh, from this mark, I'm having a mark of 57 up there. Mark of 57 up there. So picking my compass, I can measure with my compass. So mark of 57 which is this so standing right here mark of 57 right here i'm going to project that horizontally also like this okay i have that mark of 57 right there so projected it that way so now uh from this midpoint i'm having a mark of uh 58 so 58 divided by 2 that's 9 so that's 29 that's 29 so with my compass measuring radius 29 okay Standing at this junction, I have a mark here. I have a what? Another mark here. All right. So each of those marks will be projected uh, vertically, little by little. So picking my set square, okay, on this area, I project it vertically like this. Okay. Then for this area, I'm projecting it vertically like this right here. So on each of those points, we have a circles of diameter 22. Diameter 22, that will be radius of what? 11. Picking my compass, measuring radius of 11, which is what I'm drawing. So with radius 11, which is this, standing right at this junction, I what? I'm going to draw this faintly, first of all, okay? Then coming down here, also I'm drawing this what? Faintly. Okay, so how do I get the arc joining these areas together? That arc of radius 24, how do we get that? How do we get that? Okay, so I'm going to pick my compass. I'm going to measure uh, radius 24, first of all. Okay, with radius 24, which is this. All right, I'm going to stand right here, strike it here. Okay, I'm going to stand right here, strike it here also. So each of those planes, I'm going to project them vertically, first of all like this so the mark of 24 year i project it upwards like this the mark of 24 year i project it on this other side also upwards like this so after doing that after doing that so 11 minus 57 that's uh 46 that is 46 okay 46 divided by 2 is what 23 so I'm going to pick my compass and measure what 23. So this is 23. With 23 on my compass, okay, I'm going to place my compass right here, okay, and draw this right here, okay, drain this right here. I'm going to uh, project it also horizontally like this. Okay, yeah. next thing is to pick my what? Pick my 23, which is this. All right. With my 23, which is this. So I place my compass at the center here. Okay, I strike this arc like this. Then I come to this junction here. I strike the corresponding arc right there. So at the point of intersection, I what? 
I draw. I draw. Okay. Okay. Also with my twenty three, I stand right here. I strike an arc right here. Then from this point of my twenty three, I strike the corresponding arc. Then from the point of intersection, which is right here. Okay. I what? I draw. I draw, which is this. Okay. Having gotten that, I'm going to what? Taking this bottom out like this. All right. Then draw this like this. All right. Then draw this like this. Okay. So likewise, this radius of eleven. I'm going to what? Uh, now taking it out a little. It is here. Okay. So what is the next procedure now? So I'm going to start from uh, this area here. I'm going to start from this area here. Okay. So from this midpoint here, I have a mark of 34 upwards. Mark of 34, which is this. Mark of 34, which is this here, down here. That is 34 right there. I'm going to project that horizontally like this. So okay. here to here is that mark of uh, 34. So then from the center here, I'm having a mark of First of all, I'm having mark of uh, 45, then followed by uh, 13. Okay, mark of 45 followed by 13. So from here, down here, I'm having 45, which is this. And after that, I'm having what? 13, which is this. Okay, so those two points, I'm going to draw them out vertically. I'm going to draw them out vertically project them vertically okay this right here and this right here okay so after doing that after doing that i'm having an arc of radius it from this center of 13 here i'm having an arc of radius what radius it radius it so i pick my compass coming down here i pick uh, this radius 8, which is this, with radius 8, with radius 8, standing at this junction here, okay, I what, I draw this arc faintly first, let's draw it faintly, that way, you okay, have to draw it that way, okay, yeah, so, uh, from this area, this area is tangential to this area here, I'm going to make that part actually visible, I'm going to make it visible, okay, yeah, that is it. So from this junction also towards the top, you have a mark of 26. So I'm going to measure that also. Mark of 26, which is this mark of 26, which is this. So I'm going to project that horizontally also. Horizontally, mark of 26 horizontally yeah. coming. All right. So if you look very well, look at the dimensions at the top over there. From the top, somewhere at the top over there, we have a mark of 23 towards the side from the center. So this is mark of what 23 right here. That mark of 23. Okay, I'm going to project that mark of 23 vertically. I'm projecting it vertically. This coming down there. So coming down right there. I'm going to I have a bigger part there of diameter what 38. Then that 38 that's radius what radius 19. So picking my compass, I measure radius 19, which is this. Okay, with radius 19, all right, so sitting comfortably at this midpoint. Okay, with radius 19 at this midpoint, I'm going to draw this. I'm going to draw it with thin line, first of all, with thin line, first of all, like this. Okay, after drawing that with thin line, like that, so I'm having this junction and this junction. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is this. Okay. So this arc right here, this arc of radius 11, it is external to this, external to this. So let's do for this first. 11 plus 19. 11.19 is what is 30. So picking my 30, which is this, with my 30, which is this standing right here. I strike my first arc, which is that. Okay. Then 11 plus 8, that's what, that's 19. So picking 19. Okay. Since right here, I was striking the corresponding arc. And I'm going to pick my what 11 all together. I'm picking my 11. I have this with 11 sitting right here. I what I 
draw this comfortably like this okay i draw this comfortably like that then i can now do this i'm going to pick my ruler i'm having yeah an extension of 3 mm downward from this mark so it is 0 1 2 3 mark 3 mark 3 mm downward i'm going to project that horizontally also mark 3 horizontally so which is this junction then i'm going to thicken uh this part out extending this down here i would i thicken this like this i have this right here okay so having that right there so the next thing is to or uh, finish this part off to finish this part off how do we do that with my compass right here i'm having the radius of 41 picking my compass measure radius what 41 which is this okay which radius 41 which is this i stand right here you know what uh, right here i was i draw this arc okay so with my arc touching this central line right here okay with radius 41 i see it right here and i would when i draw this i'm drawing with thin line first of all okay after drawing that after drawing that and do not forget this was this is the midpoint there so this arc of radius 45 to this area is what is external okay 45 plus 41 that is 86 picking my compass measuring length of what 86 which is this with length 86 standing at this center here first of all i draw this first arc here as you can see right there then picking my initial length which is going to be uh radius so it's radius 45 and i'm going to measure 45 now so picking radius 45 which is this the second one is principle of an arc on a straight line so radius 45 standing right here i was i strike the corresponding arc then with radius 45 i was i see it comfortably right here then i was then I join this to this area here. I join this here. As you can see on the screen right there, I join this here. So after joining that, then I can what taking this out with my radius what? With my radius 41. I what? I taking this part out. So that area is also what? Settled like that. It's settled like that. So after this mark of 26, going further towards the top, I'm having another mark of what? 26 towards the top. So this is the mark of 26 towards the top right here. I'm going to project that one also horizontally like this. After that, I'm having another mark of 15. So this mark of 15 right here, then that's it over there. Then projecting it what horizontally also like this. Okay. So what is the next thing to do here right now? Okay. The next procedure to do here is from this midpoint, I'm having two mark of 17. Okay. Two mark of 17. So here to here is the first mark of 17. Then the second mark of 17, 17 times 2 will be 34. That is it right here. So I'm going to project this mark, two marks of 17 vertically. Okay. So uh, on this area here, mark of 17 on this area here, I'm having this like this downward. Then this area here, I'm having this downward. Okay. So what's the next thing? Okay. okay. On this mark of 17 at the top here. Okay. To this area here okay 70 to 17 here first of all i'm going to join this all together like this yes so that area is set to here the diameter of 38 that was actually here i'm still going to replicate it now which is this picking that diameter of 38 which is this so you see drawing it out fully but tangentially i'm going to pick my ruler and what draw this tangentially to that area like this okay right there then from this junction to the top here like this right here okay so that area is settled like that it's settled like that as you can see on the screen right there it is what settled while this area is what settled like this okay so what is the next procedure the next procedure is to draw this arc of uh, radius 35 that is actually what that is actually right here so how do we do that how do we do that i pick my compass okay i measure radius 35 which is this with radius 35 which is this okay standing at this junction okay i strike an arc on this central line here like this so the arc touches it, I place it there with my 35, then I what? I draw this. Let me draw it faintly, like this, first of all. So, 
having that over there like that, what's the next thing I'm going to do? But we see that towards this area, from our midpoint here, we have a mark of what? A mark of 47. So I'm going to do that also, mark 47, which is this, marking it right here, right about there. I'm going to what? Draw down also what? Vertically downward like this. Okay. So having that right there, what is the next procedure? What's the next procedure? So I'm having uh from this area a mark of what 51 upwards, a mark of 51 upwards. So picking my compass, let me measure 51. Okay. So with 51 measured on my compass, I stay right here, then I what I strike it. Oh, let me confirm. Uh, okay, this is my mark 47 here. I'm correct. So then on that line of 47, standing right here, 51, strike. Okay, so I have what? I have this junction for my what? For my 51. So right here, I'm having an arc of radius what? Radius 53. Radius 53. Okay, so this arc of radius 53 here is on a straight line, while over here, it is a what? Uh, an internal arc right there. An internal arc right there. So right here it is on a straight line, as I said earlier, and right here it is what it is internal. So what am I going to do? First of all, let me measure 53. So for this point on a straight line, I what I strike and arc like this. Okay, then 53 minus 35 is what is 18. So picking my mark of what 18 right here, which is this it's mark 18, which is this standing at the center of our arc of radius 35. I what I draw the corresponding what arc. Then with that, I measure my length of what? My length of 53, which is this. With length 53, which is this. I stand at that point of intersection right there. Then from this area, what? I draw, you see. I then share to that area. Then I can take in this, my mark of 35 right here, like this. Okay, I can take in it like this. Okay, yeah, you can see we are almost done. So towards this area, I'm having a mark of what? A mark of 75. A mark of 75. So how do we do that? So uh, right here, it is also uh, on a straight line right here also. So I'm picking my 75 here, first of all. 75. Right here, first of all. Okay, that's the point. Sitting right here, I strike 75. You see, I strike it right there. Okay, then right here, it is what? An internal arc also. Radius 11. 11 minus 75. That is 60. 64. Picking my compass, I measure radius what? Radius 64, which is this. With radius 64, which is this. I what? I stand right here. Then I strike my what? My subsequent arc. So they intersect here. They intersect right at that junction. Then I measure my what? I measure my 75, my radius 75, which is this. It's my radius 75, which is that sitting right here. I what? I draw this. Can you see? You can see right there on the screen. I draw this. So then I'm going to was taking my radius 11. That is it. I'm going to take it out. My radius 11, that is it. So let me take it out. Take it out. As you can see. Okay. So that brings us to the end of what the construction of this uh us eight i call it us and applying the principle of tangency okay kindly ensure you subscribe to more of our videos and also you can follow us on youtube on instagram and on facebook so i remain the blessing the founder of michael take thank you